I set out to recapture my programming skills of 30 years ago. I take my old ELISA program and develop it into an AI demo. Well, it's been a bit of a frustrating 48 hours and I've decided to draw this exercise of artificial intelligence with the psycho program ELISA draw it to an end. Um, I'll cover the bits and pieces and I'm in my mind I've got the idea that I'll put this up on YouTube. It may be interesting to someone. So I'm going to start off by running the program and uh, then I'll uh, go through the code and do a bit of explanation and background detail. So here we are. I open the folder that has the uh, XE Eliza AI Final 01 XE and I click on it and then as you see it doesn't open in the full screen and I'll cover that when I talk talk you through the code but here I'm going to try and demo the practicalities yesterday I went through it as a genuine user and I surprised myself with the validity of the responses to the questions but maybe that's just me so if you ever get to run this program you've got this um, small window and I'll explain when I talk you through the code so you go to the resize icon and resize it and it goes big now you may find with your machine that the font is too small or maybe too big and if you go up to the white top border and right click you'll come down and you'll find properties and then you'll see you see there it shows you where the original window is going uh, to be and because it's Windows 10, there are problems. But anyway, uh, after you click the resize button and go to the top and right click the white part, come here, make sure you're on the fonts. Make sure that's on 28 uh, font size. And then make sure the bold fonts is checked. And then click OK. And there we are. So here we are in the saddle. Uh, and there I've put in click the resize icon. I didn't haven't put in all about the fonts. Um, I don't think this will ever see the light of day. Um, as I'll say, late, say later, I'm using obsolete, uh, an obsolete compiler. So we hit the space bar to continue and what is my name now I'll put it in in capitals but if you don't put it in capitals it makes it uh, capitals internally uh, my name's Ted and it goes all through it I'll put in there don't use punctuation uh, it doesn't matter really but it might cough on some of the things the name of someone I trust is Bill. The name of someone I don't trust is Ben. And we can have a hundred uh, questions. Uh, hit the space bar. Now I'm going to go into this in demo mode. 
and uh, try and bring out the responses. When I first wrote this program, it was 1982, with uh, Dragon Computer, um, it was all, all random responses. And when I started on this um, oh, a month or two ago, it was still all random responses. But um, it now has uh, contextual responses. And one of the things is if um, you say Eliza, it comes back. And if I say hello, Eliza, and it says, are you in love with me? And that's the only response you get if you put Eliza into the text. That needs to be enhanced. The next question is, um, uh, 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 I am unhappy. And you see there it says, why are you unhappy? And here is where the AI comes in. It's responding to AI, I am. It then takes the bit after I am and brings it in with a why are you unhappy. Um, and I'm going to go in and say, because I can't sort this out, right? Um, a normal punter's response. And it's come back. Now that is a random reply. I know that is a random reply. Do you believe it is normal to be like that? But it could be applicable. And yet it's um, uh, a random response. Um I'm now going to go, if you put in the words anywhere in the question, who, what, why, when, where, or how, it comes back with a specific response. Why are you talking to me? Ask them, Alfred, it's picked up on the why, and ask a male friend why. And you see there, my vast scanner is running. So I'll put him out of the way for a while. Um, oh, why are you yucking to me? <laughs> and if you do some sp wrong spelling, it will uh, repeat it. Ask a male friend why. Um, and I'll say, tell me where he is and because i've got the who what why when where or how in the text it will come back with a, a textual response ask your advisor where right the where is picking it up and i also put in one um, because people have come on here for problems and again as with the eliza with the word problem, I haven't um, developed it. I have a problem with relationships. That's a nice long one. Of course I can help you, Ted, but be careful with Ben, Bill and Ben. Uh, why not? Uh, so I haven't finished that problem one, but even there you can see that if you did, if I weren't here talking to you and telling you the secrets, the rationale of how it works. Um, and then the other thing I've got in there, we've got the who, what, why, when, and where, and how. We've got Eliza, we've got problems. And I've also got he is 
is he, she is, is she. And I had complications with that because she is, has got he is embedded in it. And so it was a sequencing of how the uh, program went that I got it. And I'm going to say, she is going away. And it says, why is she going away? Oh, <laughs> and you see, it has repeated my misspelling, you see. Why is she going away? And he is not a good person. Why is he not a good person? You see, the system is contextually sensitive. It's artificial intelligence. And it picks up he is and then adds on what comes after he is, she is. Um, also, what triggered this is I was looking at the Android program and that talks backwards and forwards, text recognition, voice recognition, voice to text, all there, clever, not uh, like my pathetic effort. And um, the one I picked on was the I am unhappy. You see at the top, I am going to the shops. Uh, why? Oh, look, I've got. Uh, I, I'm going. Why are you interested in whether people care or not? So that is a random reply because there's nothing in my question it recognised. I should have said. I am good going to the shops and now it will give a contextual response rather than a random response. Why are you going to, sh to the shops? To get some food. So I'll get a random reply. Are you saying no just to be negative? I did not say no right a female friends it is random so you can see that i reckon about one in ten questions get a response that's two way out to be acceptable but with people using this kind of program they become so engrossed that they'll accept a bucket of mud as being ice cream. <laughs> I just thought of that. <laughs> I'll say a bucket of something else. Right, so I've done Eliza. I've done Problem. I've done Who, What, Why, When, Where and How. Uh, I've done I Am. So let's just do a little bit here. I wish to be re recognized I never had in it I see I understand around I understand thank you for that um, you don't seem quite certain I am very certain and because I put I am it, it'll give me a contextual response why are you very certain right and I, I should program in something with because because I love you Eliza are you in love with me? Right, so I've gone through it and you can see that um, even with a giggle, it, I have achieved what I set out to do a couple of months ago. And that is to take my old Eliza program that had completely random responses 
and make it contextually sensitive. So uh, there it is. I'm going to finish this little bit and then I'm going to uh, load a text version of the code and bore you with me going through it. So we come out with finish and it's finished. And I close the window and I've already got the notepad version here and I'll put that up the top. By the way, I am doing this video with Power Director 16 and I, uh, with their screen capture. Um, right, so let's go into here. Um, I'm using Power Basic slash CC. And I have found out over the last couple of days, I spent a lot of time tr on Google trying to find out, but it seems that Power Basic has gone bust. They sold Power Basic to someone and they didn't keep it up. And the version of Power Basic I'm using is for 32 bit systems. And this is a 64 bit system. I've been into um, uh, my system to run it. I'll minimize this for a minute and show you this. Um, right, and here's P Basic. I right click it and go down to properties, and um, I. Ch went into the compatibility and it's I've got the, that program running with Windows Vista Service Pack 2 and I'll come out and go back and explain to you um, what led me to do that right so I've got some variables here and these are the two statements, D desktop, get size two, these two variables, um, the, the width and height of the um, rows and R rows, C columns. It then takes those two numbers and go uses the statement console set screen to the variable values that are in there now i could not get that to work and uh the only way i've got it to work is to go out and get it because it's all it, it's written for um 32 bit code and this is a 64 bit computer so in brief i could not get this to work and it works but it works 50% but not 100%. So to summarize, Power Basic went kaput, disappeared into the mists, and the version I, was I am using is for pre-Windows 8 and a 32-bit system. So they say the poor workman always blames his tools. Well, I think I'm legitimately <laughs> blaming the tools. But you can see I've got it, I've got it to work. And at 85, that ain't bad, is it? Right. Uh, talk to yourself, Ted. Right. Here uh, I set aside in memory all the variables I'm using. Set the colour dimension the arrays that I use a lot of it is well some of it is redundant but I just left it in there it doesn't really matter. and then here is the data for the random replies and it needs some work because there's stuff there 
that I don't like this I see um, short things um, but I couldn't be well it, it seems to work acceptably but it could be improved it's 90% okay there are all the things there and if you're clever and you want to copy it you can pause and type it all up uh, or some of you see I don't like that um, so um, that's all the data for the um, random responses and here is the data for people um, that I use and here is uh, get replies for who, what, why, when, where and how. Another problem I had is um, reading the data and, and this went mad. Normally when you read data you put in a read data statement and it stops and puts a marker uh, at the end of where you gone to get the state got, got the data which is here 1 to 137 but when it gets to 137 it doesn't leave a data marker so I had to do a workaround and I'm reading all 143 data items and put it into um, a, 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 an array and then what I'll do I'll go to that array I go to that array and I read from 131 to 137 uh, to get the people data and then I get the who, what, why, when, right, the, the, the last six and I go from 137, 131 to 137. So I had to do a work round, but that's not the way that I taught people to do it. Well, people are uh, versions of, of a basic so the data marker doesn't work and I suppose it's because this is a a, a 64 bit we clear the screen um, and here's the stuff you get when you start off and input n dollar and it makes sure that that your name is used in uppercase and it comes down here and uh, someone do not trust and we've got the uppercase again ask a hundred questions we come in uh, and they were and you see here we randomize the timer if you don't put a randomize uh, statement in uh, uh, you will always get the first uh, the, the first reply will always be the response will always be the same so I put in a randomized timer statement and depending on the number of seconds since God knows when uh, uh, it initializes the, uh, ran the random number get the question from the keyboard ensure they're all in uppercase and when you type finish it goes junk down to the bottom of the bend um if you put who what why when where and how it will get asked and blah, blah, blah. if you put in the word eliza you can see it says are you in love with me and that could do with a bit of developing and here it is if i am is in there is she she is he is is he so they are all capturing the context driven replies. So it is not uh, random, it's artificial intelligence. Check to see if there's pro problem, uh, the word problem. And um, then if they slip all through there and nothing responds, as a last result, it does a, um, a, a random comment and here we are at the end oh I hope you've enjoyed that um, uh, that's a lot of it um, I will try and put the code up uh, it's been interesting traveling through when you think from 
1982 with the Dragon computer, right through Ataris and PCs and all that. I haven't recognised the time going by, and that I've been working with an uh, an obsolete version of the uh, compiler. But then the poor workman always blames his tools, right? All the best. Goodbye. God bless you.